Chiming in 2021, we're going to focus this year on the topic of self improvement, which is so important because I believe if we all start looking at ourselves and improving ourselves, then we can make the world a better place. I want to come from an excerpt from a speech given in 1986 by the minister, but the topic around self-improvement had plenty of examples in it. And this example that I'm going to use, it talks about looking at nature. I was always taught to study nature. There's something unique about it. But in this example, talking about nature with self-improvement, it talks about the bird. If you look at the bird and see how the bird at time of, uh, it's coming out of an egg, breaking out of the shell, if you will, it struggles to come forward. Then that bird struggles to get balance, and then it struggles to fly. But when it flies, it's gone. <laughs> you see, God has ordained struggle. Let's look at the caterpillar. How it struggles to get out of the cocoon. And look at human life as it struggles to come forth from the womb. Coming to birth is a painful, painful experience that the mother experiences. But if the baby could tell you what it just came through, the baby would have a story to tell. For off time, when the baby comes forth, his head is pained. There are bruises on the shoulder because birth is painful. Likewise, you cannot go to new levels of consciousness, new levels of awareness, new levels of power and development without pain. <clears throat> and if you shrink from pain and won't face the pain and face the difficulties you will never overcome or evolve to the people that Almighty God intended for you to be. Excuse me. Now, it is said that man is created complete yet incomplete but how is man complete yet incomplete there are stages of evolutionary development and we start from a cloud a drop of water you see scientifically speaking which is called sperm mixed with ovum and then we evolve into a clot, then into an embryo, then into a fetus, then we come forward complete, yet incomplete. You are today complete, yet incomplete. Think on that. That's a very interesting analogy. Hu human life, it says, has a predetermined goal. And the predetermined goal of all human life is not to walk the streets with dope and no hope, <laughs> no direction, no guidance. The predetermined... Now, listen to this. I didn't say determined, but predetermined. Before you came into existence, there was a goal set for your life. And that goal for your life is written in the Bible. And that goal is to make that life meet with the source or the creator. 